All right. Hello, everyone. Hello. Those Hello. that are on the line, we have Cammie so far on the line. And I'd like to welcome those of you who are coming in or maybe tuning in through the podcast or the broadcast. This is week four of Kiva class, Kiva advancement class. This is our week four that we are doing self-awareness. So far we've, we've done um, three other classes that were just amazing, iron sharpens iron, and then self-esteem, and then learning the difference between self-esteem and self-confidence. And now we are talking about internal conflict. Ah, so Cammy. Uh-huh. Being that you're on the line, I know last week I gave the homework assignment to do the SWOT analysis of yourself, which is a self-awareness assessment of yourself just to see where you're at. So what did you come up for, with for your strengths? My strength was in God, and um, I don't know. It, my strength is in God, and um, and I have strength in um Flowing, strength and driving, um, listening to people, loving, caring and sharing for people, cooking and understand, understanding people. Oh, those are good characteristics right there. Okay, and how about your weakness? My finances. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm, everybody there, pretty much. <laughs> And um, drawing out um, the designs that I want to draw, the images that be in my head. Um, drawing what? Designs. Okay, drawing out designs. Yeah, drawing is a weakness. And it, but that wouldn't be a weakness. That it would. Well, it's you know for that you know being able to put it down, mm. being able to um um. It's be, it's called being able to execute your thoughts onto paper. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what that is. Okay. So, in another words, you don't know how to take your thoughts and put them on paper. Right. Okay. Executing thoughts, going through the motion. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Um. Being like I'm um, not seeing things through like I'm supposed to. Okay, not seeing things through. Spending money that I shouldn't be spending. Excessive spender. Okay. Loving the wrong people. Loving the wrong people. We can never love the wrong people, but we can direct too much of ourselves to certain people. Loving Loving is good, but where we direct our energy and focus can be wrong. Right. So your sense of direction of people. Right. That would, and, be, uh, that would be actually a prayer for this discernment in that area. Okay. And letting go of stuff. Letting go. Okay. What is, was your opportunities? Uh, to be faster, be patient. And save money. <laughs> okay, faster, patient, save money. Okay. And what are your threats? My threats is um competition. Mm-hmm. Uh, listening to people that say I can't do stuff when I know I can. Absorbing the negative comments. Yeah. And then I'll see what I got for my friend. Okay. So before we go any further, what I'm going to do is open up in prayer. Before we go any further, you know, we all knew it, this, and so we, we go as we go. You know what I'm saying? And then whenever you said that, when I said spirit of discernment, it hit me. I need to pray before we go any further. Okay. So, or you can pray. Okay. Um, Father God, we come to you. Humble as we know how, with open hearts, open minds, and open ears. Lord, thank you for the teacher that you instill um, your words, your gifts, 
to her so she can share them with us. And, Lord, let us um, be doers of what we're saying um, in this class to activate and get closer to you. Yeah. And I just, we just want to thank you for this word on tonight. Yeah. Amen. 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 So dealing with our, thank you for that prayer, by the way. So dealing with the SWOT analysis. So one thing that we see, you have a strength. Your strength is the higher power, the highest calling of all, God. God mm-hmm. is our, all our strength. <laughs> and driving, yeah. listening, and loving, and being caring and understanding. Those, those are typical typical um, strengths, and your weaknesses is financing and being able to execute your thoughts, see the process through, not seeing things, um, okay, you said not seeing things through, excessive spender, and having a sense of direction where your energy needs to go and letting go and opportunities where faster patients save money. Okay, now there are your opportunities. Faster patient save money. You do have the opportunity to save money, and you do have the opportunity to move about a lot faster, and patience is a virtue. <laughs> and your threats were competition absorbing negative comments. Okay, so that is good right there. Who just joined us on the line? Tanya. Hey, Tanya, how you doing? Fine, I had a time getting on. Did you? What happened? It kept saying it was busy and it wouldn't let me in. Oh, wow. you know, that happens with a lot of conference calls. I don't know why it do that. It could be that they're having a storm wherever their area is or something. Wow. So um, did you get your homework assignment done? I did. Okay, let's hear hear um, your SWOT analysis of yourself. Okay, uh, my strengths are I'm a prayer warrior, I'm compassionate, I'm an encourager, I'm anointed, I'm open-minded, I'm motivated to be a blessing to others, I'm rediscovering who I am, I have a good uh, support system and family and friends, and they've been supportive in my transition. Uh-huh. Um, uh, opportunities are I am making new friends I'm in a new area I have uh, made some new connections to grow my business uh, areas of weakness is I'm sometimes too giving and trusting I'm not financially at the goal or where I have set for myself um, threats are trusting the wrong people not terminating, promoting um, people in my life as they should, Um, sometimes putting others above myself and ending up being taken advantage of or used. Uh Mm-hmm. Okay. Those are good ones, good ones. Okay, so the reason I had y'all to do the SWOT analysis was to bring attention, bring awareness, to where you need the most help at. And wherever your weakness is, that's where you need to really start focusing on, start finding different ways that you can, um, like especially for the financial thing, you know, like I said, you can find different ways that you can um, either bring in more income or save what you have, you know. But we'll get further into that because I got a long lesson for tonight and I appreciate y'all doing y'all assignments. Did y'all get those poems written as well? Oh, no, I didn't. I, didn't, I forgot about the poem. <laughs> well, that's all right. That was just like something like extra credit. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, okay, that'd be fine. Okay, that was actually, I'm going to tell you why I gave y'all the poems. Remember, we was over the holiday season, and the holiday season brings stress. And so I figured if you do the poem in between there, it might be able to release some of that stress off of you on the fly. (laughs) Okay. Okay, so this is week four, and we're dealing with internal conflict. Who can tell me what internal conflict is? 
Isn't that right when you battling with, with yourself, when you yes. say, I'm going to do this? No, you don't do that. Yes. That's exactly what it is. It is when you have a struggle between your character and your conscience. It's when you're fussing with yourself, and I don't know, have have any of y'all had, like, restless nights where you can't sleep, you toss and turn? It seems like you got more than one thing going on in the brain. Nothing is being resolved. Everything is just pushing all at one time, and you actually can physically feel it because it begins to work with your physical body. It begins to tighten your chest in some instance. Um, it begins to make your head hurt. It could bring on migraines. Um, it could give you an upset stomach. In another word, stress. Yeah. Uh huh. So, has anybody been through an internal conflict here lately? Not lately. Okay. So let me just read out a little bit of this. What I got down in the notes. I actually went through an internal conflict, like, I'm actually going through one now, but I think it kind of went away. Okay, who just joined us on the line? Amanda. Hey, Amanda, how you doing? Fine. That's good. We'll have you read your SWOT analysis at the end of this um, class, because we already went into the lesson, so we'll let you read yours at the end. Okay. Okay, so internal conflict is with your own soul. It's with your own ideas of right and wrong. It's with um, physical limitations and choices and decisions that we make. Basically, it's man versus self. So when it comes down to internal conflict, that's why it goes back to that SWOT analysis too, because if you don't know who you are and know what you stand for, an internal conflict is not always bad because it makes you aware of what's going on and it makes you even believe in, even more in your beliefs and values, but it can be painful at times. It can be painful. So we're going to do some vocabulary here. So if you have your pens, write down conflict. Pens and paper, conflict. Conflict is a serious disagreement or argument. I'm giving y'all short definitions. <laughs> but whenever you get time, go back and do more research because the more you know, the more you grow. Okay. What did you say conflict was? A serious, a serious disagreement or argument. Okay. Thank you. Dispute, quarrel. Um, let me see. Yeah, dispute or either quarrel. And solution. Solution is the second vocabulary. A means of solving a problem or dealing with a difficult situation. Or it could be a liquid mixture. Resolution. A firm decision to do or not do something. The action of solving a problem. Settlement is a settlement or conclusion or problem resolved. Has anybody ever heard of acquired characteristics? No, ma'am. How about the Darwin theory or Lama theory? No. Okay. So as part of this internal thing, what's the first thing that you do when you get upset with yourself? Anybody can answer. I get in the mirror and talk to myself. Okay. How do you talk to yourself, though? Harsh. Huh? In a harsh way. In a harsh way, or yeah, now. like you better than that. You know you shouldn't be doing all that. It's too much. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 